Yeah, this is just a little <clears throat> video talking about myself as an Alexander Technique teacher. My background is mainly movement, martial arts, mindfulness, um, Usually an Alexander teacher has a background, you know, acting, music, voice, <clears throat> something anyway. I started out, I was uh, like a sophomore in college and I started taking Tai Chi Chuan classes at SMU and my Tai Chi Chuan teacher was also a Alexander Technique teacher in the drama department. <clears throat> and uh, I took Tai Chi Chuan with her. I was really into it. And, but the Alexander made it really come together somehow. I was doing, I was like doing Tai Chi Chuan full time for me eight hours a day for a year or a year and a half. I don't know. I was really into it. Uh, I got a lesson with Marge Barstow. My teacher was Sarah Barker, and Marge came to town, and Sarah was close with Marge. Uh, and she kind of, I don't know, passed me on to one of her students who taught me for a while there. Uh, I probably had... I don't know, man. I probably had 20 Alexander teachers. Jane Beck, who used to live in Austin, now lives in uh, Tucson. Been kind of one of my main teacher in a way. But also Mio Morales has been wonderful. Used to be in New York City, now he's in Oregon. Now he's the king of all <clears throat> online video chat Alexander. He's probably taught 200 teachers how to do it online, you know, and got them going fast. S save the Alexander world, essentially. Fantastic teacher. <clears throat> I don't know, there's a lot of ways to do this, but meditation and mindfulness is... <laughs> You know, the great Alexander teachers are great because of two things. <laughs> they just stick with the core principles and don't start engaging in their teaching, which is very hard to do. Uh, Marge Barstow, most of the people that came to her that did the long teaching programs, two-year teaching programs, she she felt like she had to start all over again with those people because they had, either they never had it or they, you know. If you just go out and try to change that other person in your teaching, you just have to work on yourself mainly. 90% 90, 90 of your working has to be on yourself, but people lose their focus and begin to work on the other person. 90% of it is not good. There's a lot of less than perfect Alexander teaching going on out there just because it's hard to stay true to the principles of uh, keeping it very simple and just working on yourself. All you do is work on yourself and then help other people while you're working on yourself and then it all works. But Marge found her teaching methods to be much better. <laughs> Her people were much better. Her people were much better. Ah. Uh.
And how do you make it 24-7? How do you as an Alexander teacher make Alexander everything your whole life? Well, I have managed to do that. It's difficult to explain, but I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. Which makes me a very good Alexander teacher. I have plenty to learn. I have so much to learn, you know. Other people are better than me at having worked with students more, but it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. The two points I'm making are the really important ones. Everything else falls into place easily. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'm really, <laughs> really <laughs> top notch on uh, Tai Chi. Uh, I work with this real simple Tai Chi form. I think it's fantastic for learning Alexander technique, learning anything. It's unbelievable. Easy, powerful, and Qigong. Qigong's become something I really, really appreciate. You don't do anything. You don't even move, but usually we like to move Alexander, but not moving has a place to. Not moving can be pretty powerful too, but you know, usually if you're working with your music or your drama or whatever it is, dance, so you're moving around a little bit. And that's, you know, but there's also not moving. It's unbelievable. This Qigong is unbelievable. But both really work together. Mm. You know, it's a real spiritual thing. Can be, you know, I try to not lay too heavy spiritual but it's that's a forte of mine. <laughs> that's a strength of mine. Some people might find it, you know, whatever. I try to tone it down for the, you know, for the only occasion, but there's a many room for it. I'll uh, bring mindfulness, but I, I, the kingdom of heaven, I will. I will show you the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> uh, I love Alexander. I love Alexander. I love helping people this way. <clears throat> 